Hello viewers, welcome to Animal World. In this video, we are going to talk about 10 delightful animals you may not have known were necrophiliacs. Necrophilia is a paraphilia whereby the perpetrator gets sexual pleasure in having sex with the dead. Nature. So majestic. So serene. So, disturbing. It turns out that there's a lot of grotesquery in the animal kingdom, and it goes far beyond snacking on the occasional dead young. Many more animals than you would think have been spotted trying to get their rocks off with the dead. In some cases, it's almost understandable. In some cases, it even actually works, resulting in a successful mating. But in many other instances, it's simple deeply disturbing, especially when it's something cute, furry, and otherwise seems like a paragon of sweetness. Only if you think you can handle getting your animal-loving heart broken should you read on. And just a warning that there are some pictures. Number 1. Crows. Oh no, say it ain't so. Not our beloved corvids. Alas, readers, it is true. Occasionally, crows like to have a bit of a go with their dead friends. And not only, researchers also recently observed the birds trying to have sex with dead pigeons. Curiously, they never do so without aggression, and they primarily do so within the breeding season. Although the reason for the behavior is unknown, the researchers believe it might have something to do with a dead crow having conflicting characteristics, it could be food, it could be an intruder, or it could be a mate. Here's a fun video, we're lying, it's really not. A minority of crows, researchers hypothesized in a new paper, simply may not be able to process these conflicting stimuli in their brains, and end up choosing a mix of inappropriate responses. Number 2. Kangaroos. Australia's cute and cuddly coat of arms critter, the kangaroo, isn't necessarily all that cute when it wants to get cuddly. In 2016, a male, Roo stole the nation's heart when a photo of him seemingly, grieving, over his dead mate went viral. There was just one problem. Great photos of the kangaroos, but I think they are fundamentally misinterpreted. The male is clearly highly stressed and agitated, his forearms are very wet from him licking himself to cool down. He is also sexually aroused. The evidence is here sticking out from behind the scrotum. Yes, in marsupials the penis is located behind the scrotum, explained Mark Eldridge of the Australian Museum. This is a male trying to get a female to stand up so he can mate with her. Number 3. Ducks. Ducks are adorable, but their sex lives are a horror show. And it doesn't get much worse than an incident observed by Dutch biologist Kees Moliker of the Natural History Museum Rotterdam. One day he heard a loud bang against one of the museum's windows. When he looked outside, he saw a dead male duck. And then a live male duck nearby. And then the live duck went over to the dead duck, and proceeded to try to get busy. For 75 minutes. After which he began to grow bored, so he went and collected the dead duck and froze it for later study. I knew I'd seen something special, but it took me six years to decide to publish it, he said in a TED talk. After six years, my friends and colleagues urged me to publish, so I published, the first case of homosexual necrophilia in the Mallard. That paper won Moliker the 2003 IG Nobel Prize in Biology. Number 4. Frogs and Toads. Everyone loves frogs, with their tiny little frog hands, and their big frog eyes, and their clammy little frog bellies. And, look, frogs are cold-blooded. So it stands to reason that frog on the prowl might not immediately recognize the difference between a live cold and dead cold. But there's a little Brazilian toad that can go necrophilia one better. The male Rhinella proboscidea is able to extract eggs from the body of a dead female and successfully fertilize them. He climbs on top and squeezes her belly to pop the eggs out, then fertilizes them, and then they grow into more toads. The scientists who discovered it called it, functional necrophilia, and described it in a 2012 paper. It's never been observed in another species. Which, we're not really all that sad about. Number 5. Penguins. Oh no, you are saying. Not penguins too. Not the little penguins. Yes, dear readers. It is also the little penguins. And not just any penguins. The adorable Antarctic Adelie penguin. When this behavior was first observed, it so shocked biologist George Murray Levick, a member of the 1910-13 Scott Antarctic Expedition, that he had it stricken from the official record. It was kept secret for nearly 100 years. It seems that the position of a dead penguin, and the position of a female ready to mate, look disturbingly similar. What is happening there is not in any way analogous to necrophilia in the human context. 
It is the male seeing the positioning that is causing them to have a sexual reaction, ornithologist Douglas Russell of the London Natural History Museum told the BBC in 2012. They are not distinguishing between live females who are awaiting Congress in the colony, and dead penguins from the previous year which just happened to be in the same position. That's all for today's video see in the next part. Please like, share and subscribe for more.